Buddy and I are back at Baba Blacktail Farm today. Tess is going to be showing us how to milk a sheep. In addition to milking today, Veronica, the last of our babies, has finally given birth. So we're going to see our new babies. Look at your babies. Two little girls. Oh. Let's, get, let's get them out so you can hold them. Oh no, you're gonna leave the brow in here. That's <laughs> ugly. That's so ugly. Brown is my favorite. Brown, brown is your favorite? Yeah. Oh, brown's my favorite too. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. Soft. She's so soft. She's like no. super cool. So how did Veronica do? She did great. She was so easy. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Here's your other girl. What are you going to do there? I don't know. I don't have a baby. Dog food and water. Dog food and water. Dog food just got down. And so first thing I did was wash my hands, and then we've got our safety um, guard here. So we're going to take the safety guard down now that her head is secured in the stanchion. So then we're going to just cleanse her. Hello, girl. She says, what are you thinking of? What are you thinking of? Yeah, what are you thinking of? So what I'm just trying to do is get all the fuzzy hair. You know, they're self-shedding. But right now it's spring, and so she doesn't need all this fuzz to be in the way of. This. So she's okay with me touching back here, but when I get near her teats, she's protecting those because those are her. That's for her baby. She doesn't want to share those teats with some person other than her baby. So I have to kind of get her used to that idea. Okay. She's not particularly full of milk right now because, you know, the baby's already had its breakfast and so forth. So our objective today is to just kind of get her, her accustomed to the whole easy. A <laughs> little bit come out each side. She just kind of get used to the idea of right here. <laughs> okay. So what I can tell is that the baby favors her right side because that side is is more um, easy to get the milk. Do the milk. major cleanup with her when it's warmer. Right. Yeah. But you can see the process. So how, but imagine that this sheep is all clean. Imagine that everything here is all clean. <laughs> I use um, some warm water. I take a disinfectant wipe with warm water. Because who wouldn't rather have warm water than cold water? And, and then, um, kind of introduce myself to her and look at the difference. She's so accustomed. And she hasn't been milked since last year. So, you know, we're just going to do a little bit of cleanup here. 
just so that she realizes what we're doing. You know, we're doing our cleanup here. And if you've ever done anything um, like disinfecting our wound use, this is the cleanest zone. So you're going to start there and go off of it and come up, you know, get a new fresh one, start here, come off of it, you know, so you don't wipe here and then wipe over there. You know, it's the same principle as, as cleansing. But you can see the difference. She's really accustomed to having a human handling her udder, you know, and she, she, uh, she again doesn't have a lot of milk because the babies are eating already this morning. <laughs> see the difference of how she stands comfortably. She knows, oh, this is, this is what we're doing here. So what you're doing is you're making your mouth like a baby, the little lamb baby. You're going up and then closing your, your hand around and then squeezing down. So you're going up and then one, two, three, down. It's kind of the opposite of what's easy for us to do. We easily go like that. But this way you're going like that because you're squeezing off, you know, there's, there's milk up in here in the reservoir and then you want to grab a hold and kind of lift up just the same as her babies do when they push up like that. And then you grasp that and then slowly, just the milk that's in the teat is actually what you're putting into the the um, glass. So you're just going like that. And you don't pull down because that's kind of like pulling down on someone's breasts. I mean, you don't want to do that. So then the first one, I would strip out just a little bit. <laughs> and then with a new cleanser, I would clean on that. And then I would begin the milking with a different receptacle that would be for us. I'm sorry, girl. And so then, so I do the same, hold on to the, hold the upper portion like it's uh, a baby's mouth, and then the swallow. So, that. And so she's very, very easy. I wouldn't use this ordinarily. What I use is something that's that's just about the size of my hands to easily grip it around like that. And then I just put it up there so that I'm catching. So there's no stray bits of anything going to go into the milk. This is, as I say, just to give you a demo. And the dogs will love that. So, And then afterwards, then I'm going to clean her. And I always like to leave her more in the stanchion maybe you know give her some give her some attention give her some more grain just because that allows the 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 teeth to kind of close up again because if you let her go right outside and she goes lays down in the mud it's you know there's an open teeth there and so she can be more likely to get the infection so yeah yeah, we're going to have wash day one of these days, real soon. <laughs> so now, Dan and I are going to change places, because he's informed now how to do this, and he's got a very experienced milker here, and so he's going to take it from step one, so that we can uh, see how he does, too. So we're going to clean her up. Here's your... All right. We're going to start in the more clean areas and work out. And remember, you're going to be working between the legs. So cow, from here. yeah. So a cow, you would work this way because their udder is up here. But a sheep, it's easier to work from behind. Okay. okay. Turn the back a bit. <clears throat> and I find it easier to do left hand on right side of the udder. Like this. Right. There you go. And then bring your warm. <laughs> mm 
It's a little awkward. <laughs> it is. Am mm -hmm. I just not getting milk in there? I guess it's just. Mm -hmm. So I'm using, I'm using my hand. Okay, you're going out wider a little. And I'm going, I'm gathering some of that milk that's in there. And then. That's better. Right. Well, thank you for being patient with me on that. <laughs> She's really good, isn't she? She is. Victory! All right. Well done. We just need to another five hundred times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of you have to. I'm too shallow. You it. reach in, and to, you have to kind of like reach up there and get a hold yeah. like a water balloon. Okay, now put your hand over mine. Just go right over the top of mine, and then hold what we've captured and then you can knock it. No. Yeah. There you go. You did it. It's not hurting her to reach up like that. I, th I, I think yeah. I'm trying to be a little too you, ginger. You're, you're being her. gentle. And, and I did the same thing in the beginning. Uh. Yeah, there. Now you've gathered. Yeah, there you go. That's good. It's not as easy as it looks. It? No, it's not. You make it look so it just comes right out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Isn't she just the most patient, beautiful sheep? Woo, you're doing it. All right. That's okay. A little better. <laughs> just keep your icy hands to yourself. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Uh, very, very good. Very good. Uh, <laughs> All right. All right. Good job, Daddy. The sequence of when you milk during the day is it should be in a pattern. Some people milk twice a day, but um, what we've done is we milk just in the early morning, and um, we keep uh, the baby. You know, they're all sleeping and so forth, and we keep the baby away from her. She's got milk because she's been waiting all night <laughs> before the baby gets a chance to to drink it all. We get her in, clean her all up to get her milked. And then everybody's fed and then baby gets to have some but has all the whole rest of the time to drink. And there are different ways you can, do it. you can do it that you keep the baby away from her all night long. That's a common place. You know like you separate them at night and then they milk in the morning and then put them in. But we don't, we just figure they're laying around and if the baby gets some milk, a little milk in the night, you know, it's all right. But generally they don't. Generally in the morning they're real full and then we can milk them and then put them back out with their babies. And I don't milk in the evening. I did in the very beginning, but we do much more. <laughs> you know, we're, we're really just doing this to have a little bit for us and par primarily so that we have some to give to the other babies that, you know, would lose their mother, like Buttercup had uh, mastitis on one side. So we would take some of the milk from one of the abundant girls and give it to them. How would you manage keeping the lamb separate from the, the ewe overnight? Mm, well, one way you could do it is to have a, have a pen like this where the mother's on one side and the baby's on the other so they can see each other. They're all, they're all the same pen. They're clear, just, milk. just put a cattle panel between just, them. Yeah, so that, some, yeah. some grate of some sort. Okay, take a look at the back of her. She's a full Frisian. And she has a more typical Full utter. And so with chocolate, it would be pretty darn easy. See, her her teats are long. I could easily get my hand in there and squeeze out. 
Because look at how much other uh, you've got here compared to what we worked on. Because she's full Frisian, whereas 60 is a half Frisian. Yeah, I mean, it's a significant difference. Yeah. And, and her sister, half and half, her udder was to hear. Like, you see that with goats sometimes. I mean, it's just like a basketball. And they really need to be milked out because her uh, half and half had had four babies. Wow. So the amount of udder development and filling uh. is a lot of times commensurate with the amount of, of placenta. And the placenta informs the, the body how much milk to make. So the number of babies tells the udder to make more. <laughs>